Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Drevis from Romeo Schooled. How are you today, Tom? Great, Dr. Tom, you're a well-known, uh, successful investor, entrepreneur, and CEO, and of course you're the founder of Romeo Schooled, and a lot of people know you as you know, a gold company, but I don't think they understand your silver and copper as well. That's true, uh, uh, Tracy. We Romeos has uh, uh, gold properties, but also have we're exploring for copper, and we recently acquired some uh, silver properties in Thunder Bay. So we are uh, a company that is concentrated on gold, copper, and silver. Well, you certainly have some fans with knowledgeable players and other investors in the industry. Uh, Matt Bolson said, the name Romeos reminds me of the Roman Empire. So it will be interesting to see if Romeos Gold can build their own golden empire in the Golden Triangle of BC or at one of the other North American precious metal projects. He then says one closely to follow. So let's talk about the Golden Triangle. Can we start there with an update? Romeo's Gold for the last 10 years uh, has acquired a large uh, package of properties in the Golden Triangle. Uh, basically, we're around the Galore Creek deposit, and uh, recently we've done uh, 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 some exploration work and um, on, on two of our properties, the Trek and the, um, the Andre East. Uh, where we've got some new zones that, that um, it was, there was some uh, ice that melted there and, and exposed some new areas uh, of copper gold mineralization. So we have that, we, we did some exploration work this summer and, and we are expecting results. Achievement driven, Tom. I've known you for a while, so it doesn't surprise me to see you put out so many regular updates for Romeo Gold, including you just recently put out that you uh, announced an acquisition of four historic silver prospects in Thunder Bay. Can you tell us a little bit more about that announcement? Uh, Romeo has acquired a number of uh, properties around the Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay uh, uh, the Thunder Bay area has produced quite a bit of silver uh, in the past. There were a number of mines uh, that um, uh, produced silver, and one of, the, of them was actually the highest uh, uh, silver producer in the world at the time. So Romeo um, uh, picked up some uh, ground around those uh, those um, uh, mines and those areas, and and uh, we actually recently have done our first exploration program, and and we're still awaiting results for for that. As you probably know. Um, uh, Tracy, labs are very busy, uh, uh, so we're still waiting for their results. And of course, while I have this opportunity to speak to an expert investor, Silver, I'm going to put you on the spot. What do you think about Silver right now, Tom? Well, I think Silver is, uh, is at a good point. Uh, uh, the, um, it's going to be good uh, demand for Silver, and, and I think my personal opinion is that the price is going higher, and so therefore there's um, uh, it, it's a good uh, place to be. Well, of course, Romeo's gold, silver, gold, and copper. You also uh, recently completed your 20, 2020 field work in the Golden Triangle. And of course, you put out uh, uh, quite the update there. Would you like to give us the highlights from that announcement? The, uh, the Golden Triangle uh, uh, properties are basically copper, gold, and silver. Uh, uh, Trek is one of the properties that we did some work, and uh, Trek is, is very close to the proposed Galore uh, uh, Creek um, Mill, uh, which is uh, uh, tech and new uh, uh, mining. And uh, in the last couple of years, we, we basically looked at uh, a new area uh, to the south, and uh, this area was exposed because a lot of the ice that was um, uh, melted. So we've got a very, uh, very exciting area that uh, has uh, potential for a, 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 a copper, gold, um, uh, silver, uh, porphyry-style uh, mineralization. So we, we actually 
had a, 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 a crew over there where we, exploration uh, group, that uh, looked at the, the, the area more closely and, and we took some samples and we did some more, uh, some um, uh, geophysics and we are looking for, uh, again, we're waiting for results. Now, the other property that we did some work this summer is the Andre uh, East. Again, the same scenario, uh, a freshly exposed area uh, uh, in the last couple of years uh, with uh, very good indications of a uh, copper for free uh, gold uh, situation. So we did some more work and we're waiting uh, for uh, uh, results from the assays and the, um, and the, ge the geophysics that we did on it. And so we were basically based on that, uh, on, on what we see and, and the results, the upcoming results, we are planning some further work uh, potentially on the next, uh, uh, the next program to be some more uh, detailed geophysics and drilling. This next question is my personal favorite. Favorite, I read that you have Bonanza grade gold in your project in Nevada. So how about you start by explaining to us uh, and some new investors to the gold market what Bonanza grade gold actually is. The Ar Romeo's property in Nevada is known as the Scosa property. This was producing gold in, in the 1930s. And um, we have uh, um, articles where they were producing 1,200 1, ounces per gold per ton gold, basically. Uh, so the, the, the ore from this property was so rich that the, they were depositing the ore in the bank vaults, and the bank, the bank vaults in the area were actually full of ore. So uh, we acquired this property a few years back, and, and we, uh, there's about 15, uh, 20 old workings, uh, shops, and, and were, were the, the old timers mine there. So, and we did a number of drill holes and, and some of them uh, came out with uh, four or five ounces gold uh, per ton. So that's what we feel that this property, it, it basically uh, produced uh, up to 1200 ounces per ton gold. And on, on our drilling, we basically intersected uh, three, four ounces gold. So this is what we call Bonanza, uh, Bonanza Gold Amelization. So if I'm understanding the Romeo Gold competitive advantages, basically what I hear you saying is that smart investors have taken on some top talented professionals and gone after some near proximity and former producers uh, to get ready for you know, a rising market. Uh, Tracy, uh, Romeo's for the last 25 years has acquired a number of properties in, in four or five major mining camps uh, and, and uh, we basically pay off all those properties and, and now those properties are, are, are there to, to, take in, to be taken to the next level. Uh, so we do have, have uh, major uh, land positions in, in major mining uh, camps in, in, uh, in Canada and in, in, base in the U.S. So, uh, it, it, it's a very exciting uh, uh, pro, uh, uh, company and, and property, basically, because of the property. So gold, silver, copper, 25 years of history in acquisitions. Is that correct? That's correct, um, uh, Tracy. So right now, I'm assuming we have some exciting plans for moving this project forward with marketing being number one, two, and three. Would that be correct? Marketing is number one uh, right now, but also, as I mentioned before, we, we've done, um, we started exploring the different properties in the Golden Triangle. We explored the landmark Cacao Lake property and we are awaiting results. This is a property just uh, north of the Musselwhite Mine. And we recently had some very uh, exciting uh, results. Uh, uh, we intersected um, uh, uh, copper gold and the gold was or, or about eight, eight over uh, eight grams over uh, four or five meters. Uh, this is a new, very new uh, discovery that happened a year or two ago, and and we've done some additional surveys and we're waiting for more results uh, to sort of move it to the next level. So we're going to be exploring these properties, uh, and um, and at the same time we want to basically uh, uh, let the market know that we're 
we're going to be active and, and, um, and hope uh, that we can really um, uh, bring this uh, uh, excitement into the, um, into the investors. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, Romeo School sounds like a treasure, a treasure trove of excellent projects to be looking at to really kind of cover your bases if you're interested into these uh, growth markets. Uh, Tracy, uh, Romeo Gold has some very exciting properties in, in, North, in Canada and the U.S. Um, and uh, for the, the risk reward, basically, we're, we're trading at very old times low, basically. And um, as I mentioned, we are uh, going to be active uh, exploring and, and uh, and um, we're also going to be start talking about the uh, the company and the uh, and the projects. So we think there's a lot of upside for investors. So Tom, how has COVID nineteen affected you? Because you have, it's my understanding, you've got assets in five major mining districts: Golden Triangle, Ontario, Quebec, and Nevada. Is that correct? Gold, silver, copper. Do I have this correct? This is correct, um, uh, Tracy. COVID, uh, this last year was a very unusual year. Uh, in, in the spring and early summer, it was very uh, difficult to work, uh, but we did manage to do um, uh, a, a lot of work uh, on, on two or three of our projects uh, in, uh, in the uh, September, uh, uh, October uh, uh, time period. So, um, it was an unusual year, but we managed to do uh, uh, quite a bit of work. And as I mentioned earlier, we are expecting results from those uh, uh, three areas that we've been working on. Well, Tom, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And please, we want to get regular updates on, on your various projects as you move forward. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy.